hi welcome to the dotnet video tutorials this is abhi and you are watching part 5 of wpf tutorials video series in this tutorial you will learn how to use the right panel layout in wpf basically the right panel is similar to the static panel but with a small difference if you have not you don't know about the stack panel please watch part 2 of my video series in WPF you can learn about the stack panel there so the wrap panel is similar to the stack panel but with a small difference actually the wrap panel wraps the elements inside it to the new line when it finds no room to arrange in horizontally or vertically we can use the orientation property of wrap panel to align the elements inside it either in vertical or in horizontal order the default value of orientation properties is always set to horizontal so let's flip to visual studio create a wrap panel here the orientation of wrap panel is always set to horizontal is by default is always going to be horizontal so I have not specified any orientation of wrap panel I am going to put some text here text block I can say hello this is text block maybe now if I will put more text blocks you can see the default orientation of wrap panel is set to horizontal you can set the orientation by changing the property here you can set orientation to either horizontal or you can set it as vertical now let's see what is the difference what is the main difference between wrap panel and stack panel if I will put some more text in this line then this is going to wrap to the new line so this is the different difference between wrap panel and stack panel the default value of orientation property is always set to horizontal so you can see the wrap panel property is set to horizontal and the text inside it is coming horizontally you can see the orientation to vertical so the now text blocks are set to vertical in situations like when we are displaying same sized height or width data we can use the wrap panel basically all it depends on you need that how you are going to arrange the things so if you have seen uh, actually let me show you if I have button content is submit and I'm going to set some padding maybe 10 I will set some background is maybe as a at margin is 10 so 
suppose I have so many buttons and the horizontal so you can understand this easily so we are not going to worry about that how the button is going to be displayed that is all depends on your wrap panel that it will wrap if your buttons are going to exceed the limit of wrap panel width currently this wrap panel is taking the window width that is 600 so if when your buttons are going to exceed 600 then the new button is coming will come to the next line so another thing is that if you are using the vertical orientation then all the controls which shares the same column will take the maximum width from that column till you have not specified the width of any control the same applies in case when orientation is horizontal but this time the height is determined so let's look at this you have button content H hello world the orientation is horizontal that is fine I will set some padding maybe 20 now let's create another button you can see four buttons here now hello world big button let's put some more buttons now you can see when I have aligned when I have just taken the vertical orientation these buttons in the first line is going to take the maximum width from that column so you can see the hello world big button has the maximum width so these all buttons are going to take the maximum width the same happens in case when your orientation is set to horizontal but in that case the height is going to be determined so what do I mean by that let's set the orientation to horizontal and if the hello world button here has height of three hundred then all buttons are going to take that height so another thing is that if you are using the vertical orientation then all the controls which share the same column will take the maximum width from that column till you have not provided the width of any controls so you can just if you want, want to handle this situation you can simply go and set the height of a control maybe 100 so you can see this button is now taken the 100 height so that's it from the today's video tutorial 
thanks for watching please subscribe comment and let me know your views you have any questions please share with me i will try to explain about that thanks for watching have a great day bye